Good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Welcome to the court. I'm the President. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Thank you. This is the Vice President of the Assembly of States Party, Mr. Monaco, and the Vice President of the court, and Madam Registrar, and Madam Deputy Prosecutor. Okay. All right. Excellencies, with Moldova formally becoming a member uh, on the 1st of January, this year began on a very promising note as we moved uh, one step closer to the global reach of the Rome Statute. A press release from Moldova's foreign ministry described very well the significance of joining the ICC, stating that, I quote, Moldova brings its own contribution to the promotion of the universality and the integrity of international criminal justice, the end of the quote. Indeed, by ratifying the statute, Moldova has joined the majority of the world's sovereign states in a historic undertaking to end the impunity for the most serious crimes of concern to humanity. Already, more than 10 years ago, the Republic of Moldova declared it, its intention to join the ICC as it signed the Rome Statute on the 9th of September, 2000. I'm delighted that the intention has now materialized into reality and that Moldova is today part of the ICC's family of nations committed to justice and the rule of law. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as, as we all know, on October 12, 2010, the Republic of Moldova deposited its instrument of ratification of the Roman statute, bringing the total number of states parties to 114. So today, we are gathered to congratulate the Republic of Moldova and to celebrate this important decision, which is the outcome of a lengthy but fruitful process that involves its government and civil society and which demonstrates the commitment of Moldovans to justice and the rule of law. Moldova's ratification of the Roman statute marks a significant stride to put an end to impunity of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide from the eastern part of Europe. At the same time, it is an important step towards full European participation in the Roman statute system. Moldova is the 18th Eastern European country to ratify the statute, and I'm confident that it will inspire the few states on the continent that have yet to ratify the treaty to take similar steps in making a highly valuable contribution to the court's work. Firstly, allow me to thank you for organizing this warm and pleasant welcoming ceremony, which highlights once again the importance of the international system of justice. This event is of symbolic value to my country as the Republic of Moldova has become the 140th state party to the Rome Statute. The ratification of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court by the Republic of Moldova highlights the importance that is given to the respect of human rights by my country not only on its territory, but also of nations across the world. We consider that this was a long due maturity test that is finally fulfilled by the Republic of Moldova. As you may be aware, the European integration objective of the Republic of Moldova is of utmost importance to my country. Hereby, given the fact that all EU EU member states are also party to the Rome Statute, the ratification of this instrument by the Republic of Moldova is an important step that brings us closer to the European Union. The ICC represents an important milestone in the efforts of the international community to safeguard the rights 
of the weak from across the world, as it represents not only an effective instrument for doing justice, but also an instrument for encouragement of peace. I'm honored that today the Republic of Moldova is part of the community of states that have a firm attitude against genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. However, do we do acknowledge that is only the beginning of the path towards the strengthening of universal justice. Actually, in the presence of the Vice President of the Assembly of States Parties, I am very pleased to present uh, to you this uh, special limited edition of the Rome Statute. Uh, I think it symbolizes our joint commitment to the rule of law and uh, commitment of all the state's parties to honor it. 